What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to be painting my buddy's tailgate tonight. He ended up backing into uh, something with his trailer. He ended up backing up into it, I had a dent, so I'm gonna get this finished up. I ended up getting the base coat earlier this week. So we got clear coat, we're ready to rock. So we're gonna start wet sanding this thing down with 800 and getting it prepped and then we'll wipe it down, tape it up and shoot it. Here we go. So we got the whole panel sanded down. Um, I just want to kind of go through all the materials that I use. So I get 800 grit wet. Um, I get it from Walmart, it's like 10 bucks. A wet, dry sponge pad, it foams so you can bend it around angles because there's a ton of angles on that are on that tailgate. A gray Scotch-Brite, don't use the red Scotch-Brite. There's so much metallic in that that if you do that, you're gonna be able to see it and it's gonna look really funny once you clear coat it, especially after it sits out in the summer and everything starts to shrink up. Um, use a gray scotch bright. Hit all your angles, all your edges and stuff like that. Um, now you're gonna, at this point, you're gonna go through and you're going to use wax and grease remover. I use prep all. Make sure you wear gloves. The oils from your hands can actually make, um, you can make the clear coat and the base coat lift. You can do fish eyes. It can, there can be a number of issues with your paint that can, that can happen if you're not using gloves. So let's start getting the toys out of here. We'll get the drift car out. We'll get the, we'll get the Del Sol out. We'll get that out in the garage. That way we can start prepping it up, tape it up. And we're gonna shoot it. definitely see hopefully you can pick it up in the camera right in here you can still see that so that's the first coat we're gonna let that dry off um, and then we'll go back through and whack it again we'll see what it looks like all right so it's all dried off let's get this thing tacked down and we'll shoot another coat all right guys so I ended up putting the third coat on off camera sorry about that I just wanted to Make sure it went on there, and I forgot to put the camera on. So we're gonna put some wax and grease remover down on it now. So as you can see, it was kind of blended out. Um, we might do one more blend. We'll see what it looks like here. But we're gonna put wax and grease remover over the whole thing. So it does two things for us. One is that it's gonna clean off anything that has landed on here that would make any kind of fish eye or any kind of contaminant in the paint. Um, we're also going to be able to see exactly what it's going to look like with clear coat on it. So if the blend doesn't look good, we can let it dry out. We can blend it back a little bit more. So, um, yeah, let's get it all waxed and grease remover down. All right, guys. So as is painting in the garage, ran into a little bit of an issue. So, um, there's a little spot that when I went to wipe it down, it must've been a little too wet. So the paper towel caught it, pulled up a little bit. So I wet sanded it out a little bit. It came out flat but now it's starting to lift. So we're gonna let it dry completely, wet sand it, pack it with a whole bunch of wax and grease remover, and then we're gonna lightly dust some clear on it. Um, or some base coat, rather, sorry. So this is what it looks like. Right there, you can just see it. So the base coat's starting to lift just a little bit. So we're gonna let that dry out completely. Um, to be honest with you, I will probably I'm probably going to let it dry completely tonight, um, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll take a stab at clear coating it tomorrow, so um, I'll keep you posted. All right, so you can definitely see it better now. So I hit it with a heat gun a little bit just to see if I can get it to dry up. Um, this is what it looks like right there. I'm trying to get it kind of looks all spider webbed. There we go. So that sucks. Um, I guess is what I'll do is I'll throw a little bit more wood on the fire and I'll get the kids to sleep and maybe in a couple hours it'll be, I think it's it's nine o'clock, it's 9 p.m. now on Friday. So I'll go through and hopefully that'll dry up real tight and I'll wet sand it and we'll give it another shot. Um, yeah, it happens when you're painting in the garage. So shit happens, here we are. Um, cool, all right, well, I'll show you guys how to fix it when it starts to lift.
right guys, so it's definitely still lifting. That's how I feel about it. Um, that sucks, so we're gonna reprimer this area and sand it down again. kids are finally asleep so um we're gonna block this primer out use anything you guys got so i've had this for years it's actually uh it's actually a piece of pvc water pipe you actually you wrap the uh sandpaper around it and you can get right into really good edges and everything i've been using this for years um sometimes there's not need for really expensive stuff all right let's start wet sanding this thing down Finally, there it is, all fixed. God, that sucked. Okay, now I'm gonna let this flash off for a little bit longer and then we'll mix up some clear coat and I am done with this thing for tonight. All right, it's finally time. I think it's probably like two o'clock in the morning. So, um, all right, so we're gonna start mixing up our clear coat. So the mixing ratio on this is four parts clear coat to one part hardener. So have these handy dandy cups here. So you go four, one. So you fill it up to say three, and you bring your hardener up to three. Um, it's basically in a nutshell how you mix it up. All right, let's get this mixed up. All right, everybody. So I forgot to turn the camera on again. Um, so the first coat of clear is already on it. it everything went really well. Um, just one thing that I, I always try to do is I always have to remove my glasses because the clear coat gets everywhere. I'm sure you guys can see the fog up here. It's still a little bit foggy. I'm going to throw my mask back on here in a second. But, uh, but yeah, let's get this last coat of clear on here. And then I'm going to open the doors, let everything air out, throw a little bit more wood in here, and then kind of let it set. And then we'll take a look at it tomorrow. We're definitely going to have to wet sand it. There's a little bit of dirt in it, but that's okay. That's how painting in the garage goes. All right, let's get this last coat on and then let's get to bed. Was definitely a success so um there's some dirt in it here or there you can kind of see it in the light but yeah came out really well um next episode we'll go through we'll wet sand it and get it ready probably tomorrow or the next day and then we'll get back into the miata fender so cool thanks everybody peace <laughs>